Are you looking for the best 3D printer under $500? In this video we will look at some of the 8 best 3D printer on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Elegumars 3. Resin printers are becoming enormously popular among 3D printing enthusiasts, especially those who want smaller prints with very high detail. The Mars 3 is actually the fourth small form factor resin printer from Elegoo. The Mars 3 uses a monochrome for K LED light source, which means all the pixels of the 6.6 inch display activate to expose the print layer. This iteration adds a chip on board COB, lens with a freeform surface, increasing the uniformity of UV light illumination. Additionally, the Mars 3 comes with a free one-year license to the Chitta Box Pro Slicer, although you can also use the Lychee Slicer as well. Be aware that the price and availability for this printer do fluctuate, so depending on when you look, the price could be higher, or you might need to wait for it to be back in stock. At Number 2. Anycubic Mono X. Objects solidify in resin printers when light hits the resin. Many printers use color LCD displays, essentially, cheap phone displays, to project the light. Recently, there's been a surge in slightly more custom monochrome displays, which offer higher resolution and more clear light, resulting in faster, cleaner prints. The Anycubic Mono X is one such printer, and it's similar in display technology to the Mars 3 we just showcased. With an 8.9-inch 4K monochrome display, Mono X has a larger build area, allowing you to build bigger models. The Mono X also has an improved gantry for smoother prints and better support. To be honest, we see Elegoo and Anycubic running neck and neck when it comes to quality printers. You'd have a great solution with either one, but the decision ultimately will come down to which features you want most and whether you want to use the Chitta Box or Lychee Slicer with the Elegoo or the Photon Slicer with the Anycubic. Frankly, both companies have impressive offerings. At Number 3. Elegoo Neptune 2. We, and pretty much half the world, are huge fans of the Creality Ender 3, which we profile next. But we have to replace the Ender 3's top pick slot from our last update with the Elegoo Neptune 2, which is everything the Ender 3 is, but less expensive and with generally smoother prints. For a budget printer with a 220 by 220 by 250 mm build area, the machine has a few decidedly non-budget features. It has a filament runout sensor, so you can replace the spool and keep on printing if you run out of filament. And it has a removable build plate, which makes removing prints much easier and more reliable. Overall, an excellent printer and a favorite for folks setting up small print farms with inexpensive printers. At Number 4. Mingda Magician X. The Mingda Magician X checks off a lot of the boxes for a filament 3D printer. It's got a heated build plate, a direct drive extruder, which makes flexible filaments print more reliably, a filament runout sensor, and it even sports automatic bed leveling. With a build area of 230 by 230 by 260 mm, it can handle a wide range of mid-range sized prints. Assembly was easy and straightforward. Print quality using PLA was quite good. I didn't test with Ebius, because I'm not a fan of the stank, but this printer is spec to be able to reach 260 degrees Celsius at the hot end. Unfortunately, the hot end isn't all metal, so you're not popping above 300 degrees, which does limit some materials. We would have liked to see a removable build plate because some of those prints adhered to the bed like a puppy to mommy during a thunderstorm. Our suggestion is to use blue tape, so you can peel the tape up and free the prints. Overall, though, the Mingda Magician X is a definite win. At Number 5. Creality Ender 3 Pro. Creality has made a name for itself by selling low-cost 3D printers with reasonable build quality. You can get less expensive printers with the same specs from other vendors, but generally speaking, Creality has managed to offer a consistent price-slash-performance level, which is why we're spotlighting two of the company's printers on this list. It features a removable build surface plate, can heat to 110 degrees Celsius in just 5 minutes, and it comes with a 12-month warranty with lifetime technical assistance and 24-hour customer service. You will need to allocate a few hours to build this printer. It does come with some sub-assemblies already put together, but some kit building is required. 
With a 220x220 220 build surface, there's a heated bed that can improve adhesion. It uses a 1.75mm filament. At Number 6. Jigmaker Magic Upgraded 3D Printer. Now let's switch to another $199 printer, this time with a larger 220x220x250mm build area. It has a heated bed, but it doesn't have Wi-Fi. On the other hand, the device does have filament runout protection, which, if nothing else goes wrong, will let you replace the filament if it runs out before the print completes. Be aware that there will be some assembly required for this printer. That said, who can turn down a magic upgraded printer, especially when that's part of its name? At Number 7. GD Technology X12. Interestingly, this seems to use the Ultimakers as inspiration. If you look at my Ultimaker 3 or Ultimaker S5 reviews, you'll notice that this has the same bed lift mechanism and the same extruder carriage design. It's also enclosed, which helps manage the heat dissipation and can result in nicer prints. To be clear, the Chidi is in $3,000 or $6,000. At a mere 140 by 140 by 140 mm build area, it's a fraction of what the Ultimakers provide. It also doesn't support dual filament printing and doesn't provide automatic bed leveling, a camera, or internal lighting. That said, if you want to get a feel for how an enclosed printer might work and do it relatively inexpensively, the Chidi is worth a look. At Number 8. Sovel SV02. Last on our list is a special choice, the Sovel SV02, which is the only dual extrusion printer on this list. Dual extrusion printers allow you to load two filaments into the printer and switch between them mid-print. You can do this for two-tone highlighting or use one filament as the final object and one filament for supports. I use a dissolvable PVA support filament on the Ultimakers to create complex, intricate prints. This printer stands out because the dual filament capability is in a $287 machine. It appears users either love it or hate it, which may go to the cost controls necessary to reach that price point with dual filament functionality. That said, I prefer dual filament machines, and if you're willing to take a slight risk, Amazon does allow returns, it's a worthwhile and powerful option.